This your boy Messiah Boss again. Coming to you with you hooking out a podcast. You hooking out a podcast, man. Uh it's about 3 a.m. in the morning. And uh man, I'm just gonna keep it real straightforward with y'all, man. The opposition keep being the opposition, man. The ops still opting, man. That's just really what it is right now. You know, uh as y'all know, people in the hip hop world, that boy FBG Duck man was murdered today. Two other people were shot. Uh, father of four kids, man. Father of four kids, man. That's that's child support taken away from four kids, man. That's uh, potential college uh, funds taken away from four kids. That's just the father in general taken away from four kids. And I know, man, was no saint. <clears throat> but I'm not really here to focus on this situation. That situation just brought me to this to this topic. Man. Bro, when you want to change your life around and you want to elevate in life and you want to move forward, but you've been playing around in these streets and you've been playing around in these gangs and you've been playing around in these walls for these beefs and stuff like that for so long, when you decide you want to, you know, make the right turn and, and uh, redirect your rock, redirect your life and elevate your life. The sad thing about it is, man, when you decide you want to give up the streets or you decide that you want to move on. And uh, I know that's not this man particular situation. So, like I said, I'm not focusing on that man particular situation. I'm focusing on what I'm telling y'all. When you want to move on with your life, want to do better with your life. Sometimes, man, the streets and all the negativity and everything that you was involved in in your past life don't want to let you go. When you decide you want to fly right, everybody else don't want to fly right. When you decide you want to get your life better, everybody else don't want to get their life better. You know, when you decide you want to walk right, everybody still ain't trying to walk right. So, that's why every day of your life, you got to think about the consequences before you make the decision. Because after you done made your decisions, you have to understand those consequences, those consequences may be magnified or be multiplied 10, 15 years after you felt like you was like out of the game or you was out of the gangs or you was out of what you was doing. You was out of your past life, your fast life. You was out of the streets. But guess what? They not done with you yet. You know what I'm saying? So when you decide you want to do right for yourself, man, and, and this is sad because I've seen many of people decide they want to get out the game and change their life. And But guess what? You know, other people decide, you know, I ain't done with you yet. I ain't done with you. And uh, to be honest, man, I ain't trying to preach to nobody. That's what I'm not here to do. You know what I'm saying? I ain't finna get all social justice on folks. We know what it is. It was uh, nine times out of 10, it'd be crimes in your community, crimes in your vicinity. It ain't even no, you know, I'm not even going to bring up like no whole black on black crime aspect because I don't believe in black on black crime. I just believe that we be around each other and sometimes we just don't we don't like each other sometimes. And, and sometimes we just take the wrong, wrong decisions on how we handle it. You know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> at the end of the day, man, just just know, bro. It's never too late to change your life, but just understand that, you know, the way you've been walking the things you've been doing, the people you've been tied to, you know, all that stuff carry weight, man. And and a lot of these things in life, you just can't walk away scot-free. You can't walk away without no ramifications and no consequences coming to repay you, or coming, to re coming to receive you. You know what I mean? So, uh, man, y'all just keep y'all head up out there, man. And uh, don't feel like you got to be forced to stay in the game either. If you want to change, change, bro. Find you a new scenery. Move out your city. If you if you know you got all kind of beef in your city, man, move out. Especially if you got money to move. Move to a different city. It ain't it ain't nothing. It ain't no shame about moving to another city. You know what I'm saying? Move out. Get, especially if you got kids, man. Find your family a new start because you got to understand, man. People ain't playing foul. People killing kids, mothers, fathers, everything, bro. Everybody's on the chopping block. Y'all got to understand that when y'all out here moving and shaking, y'all think y'all families be off limit. Y'all thinking you, everybody's standards ain't like your standards. You might feel like you're going to let somebody make it. You're going to let people make it. You're going to let people make it with their kids. Or you're going to let people make it when they with their mamas or something like that. Everybody ain't playing like that, man. 
everybody ain't playing like that. Everybody don't play film, man. Some real, real live devilish people out here. Some real soulless, heartless people out here. You know, so. Uh, just, man, watch your backs, you know. Watch your backs. Keep your eyes, keep your head up, keep your eyes open, you know, and know what you was involved in and uh, know what you was dealing with and know how severe it is. Because like I tell everybody, man, things will come back and repay you. I know boys that sit around and play the cut four, five, six, seven, eight years and come back and repay people. So uh, beef, revenge, a lot of people carry that to the grave, man. A lot of people carry that to the grave and don't stop. You know, there's a lot of disrespect going out on these streets. Uh and people carry that to the grave, man. Once you didn't, once you didn't wrong somebody, man, they carry that to the grave. I ain't gonna lie, cause I'm that type of person. You know, once you didn't cross me wrong, I it's to the grave, player. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, y'all just be careful out here, man. And uh, we grown ups, you know what you involved in, you know what you getting into, you know how you playing it. Don't go into no dirty game expecting clean results. Uh, don't think you could just walk away from stuff. You don't know. You don't know who waiting on you. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you don't know who got a trap set for you. You know, I ain't telling nobody to live in fear because I don't live in fear. But you just gotta understand, man. Life ain't fair, man. Life ain't fair, and life don't play by the. Everybody don't play by your rules. Everybody don't play by how you play the game. You know. But until then, man. Uh, just know, man. The opposition still the opposition. Ops keep opting. Beef never really dies for in some situations, man. Beef never really dies in some situations, man. And and uh, when you out there feeding the beef every day, if you out here feeding beef, you got to understand you got the power to reignite something and make it ten times worse than what you thought you left it in the past. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be mindful of what you bring into the bring it to the situation you got to be mindful of what you put into the atmosphere like like you say life the power of life and death lies in the tongue man you know y'all out here saying stuff speaking stuff hoping stuff asking niggas to run up on you and guess what bro you speak it into existence they will run up on you man i've seen it every time you speak that energy that energy will come and see you you know that energy will come and see you but until then man yeah y'all have a blessed night man or uh, bless am and, uh, you know, y'all know how y'all moving and shaking in this world. Y'all know how y'all moving and shaking in these streets. When you leave your house, know what you're getting into. When you leave your house, know what all can happen to you. You know what I'm saying? Don't go out into this world blind. Don't go out in this world thinking that you Billy Badass, you King Kong, or you Superman. Because somebody always got something to put you on your ass. You feel what I'm saying? So until then, hey, Messiah Boss, I'm out of here, baby.